This is Heart Rhythm TV. I'm Roderick Tung. With me, I have Renaud Knops. And Renaud, we were together a year ago and talking about the potential for Praetorian to be a late breaker. The world is waiting for it, but in this COVID era, we're pivoting to virtual. And you, my friend, are a COVID survivor as well, I understand? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Unfortunately, during the uh, preparations for the late breaker, I had to take a couple of days off because uh, I had a flu-like symptoms and later on they appeared to be uh, caused by the coronavirus. So we had a small pause in the preparation, but um, with uh, full energy back now uh, to deliver that presentation. Tell us a little bit about your process, your psyche, and tell us a little bit about Praetorian. So I'm really excited that the Praetorian trial has been selected as a late breaker in the grand ballroom where it was supposed to be. And unfortunately, we have to do it uh, via video. Um, but still, I hope that uh, it attracts the attention it deserves because it's really an exciting trial because it's the first trial to really randomizely look at uh, how the SICD performs against the transvenous ICD. Well, and this is a huge undertaking. I know you've worked on this for almost 10 years. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. so we started 10 years ago as a, it was initially a single center study, but then we soon uh, discovered that we, were, we will never get this job done, but only as a single center. So we expanded the study further to the EU and later on to the, to the US. And now we're with 40 centers uh, are participating in this Praetorian network. And it's, it's been a really big effort and we're really glad that we finally reached the, uh, the end goal. It was a median of four years follow up. Um, looking at the primary endpoint, and the primary endpoint is um, uh, ICD related complications and inappropriate shocks, because basically that's the I whole idea behind the SICD that it's developed to overcome the complications that we know with the transvenous ICD. And uh, this is the first time that we are going to see a head to head comparison with a real good follow up uh, to see where we are with the SICD. And the total population enrolled in this randomized trial? So there 850 patients and they randomized one-to-one -one in one of the two arms. Wow, that's a big one. So I, I think that, you know, in this COVID era, we are all hungry and we're behind you. We want to see late-breaking science. We want to get back to EP. You know, I know, Renaud, you're not even really on Twitter, but you popped off something on Twitter and it kind of went, it went crazy because we're all waiting and we're on the edge of our seat. So congratulations on the Praetorian trial. We will be there with you virtually in spirit. And I know you're a little bummed out, but we're going to be amplifying this to give it its virtual life and its, its due credit. Yeah. Okay, Renaud, thank you for being with us and be well. Okay. See you soon. Thanks for the invite, Rob.